It is I, folks. How you be? So, as usual, I was having a... Oh, like my FUBU shirt. When was the last time you seen one of these? For us, by us. So as usual, I was having a conversation with my daughters and they were having their own little spat. And it all stemmed down to one using or disrespecting the other's space and using her things. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, so we had the conversation and we talked about showing someone that you love them if you love them and treating them how you say you feel about them which includes respecting their stuff you know I always tell my daughters if someone allows you to ha hold, borrow, use their stuff, then you need to treat it better than they do. If they treat it well, then you make sure you treat it better than well. If they treat it like garbage, you make sure you treat it good. Because somebody can throw away, mistreat, uh, not maintain their own stuff, but the moment that someone else does. Well, we all know that's a different story. So that's something that I always tell them. And I tell them they need to especially practice those protocols with each other, friendly, family, and friends. Because I always get on them about the same thing with my stuff. They can use it, have it, whatever. Just make sure you treat it like it's mine and not yours. Me, I'm pretty particular. Some would say picky. Some would say anal. Some would say OCD. I welcome either of those terms. Just means I like to take care of my stuff. Hell, this shirt is probably 20 years old. I've got workout shirts that are older than that. So, call me what you want. My stuff is in good condition. Love loudly. Going back to the conversation, treating people as you say you feel about them in, in a manner that reflects what you say they mean to you. Because people say a lot of things, but it's what you do, what you translate, what you transmit, what you emit. That's what outweighs everything else. Now, don't get it confused because people will quite often say, oh, you didn't show me, you didn't let me know, or why didn't you? And <laughs> unfortunately at that time, you may have been Showing, giving, doing until you gave out. And then once you stopped, then they noticed. Loss for them and a loss for you. Loss for the situation. But you keep it moving. Back to the subject. Love loudly. I was riding my bike. I keep saying this. Yes, I'm doing a lot of running, a lot of riding, a lot of working out, which I love to do anyway, but even more so now. My 
basis for my multitask has gone from emailing and making calls to riding my bike and sending emails or jogging and being on a conference call or doing my HIT workouts and getting my workouts in somehow, some way. But I was riding and lady was approaching me in the opposite direction. She had a shirt on. I saw loudly. And on the other side, I saw what I thought was lovely. The shirt said, lovely, something in the middle, loudly. I think it was an ampersand, as in, or a and sign. Lovely and loudly. And I was thinking, Love loud. Love loudly. Don't be ashamed, abashed, inhibited. If you say you do, then do it. We can't help what we love. We can deny it. We can admit it. We can emphasize it. We can hide it, but we can't help what we love because it's in our DNA, it's in our nature. And just like pheromones attract certain beings and animals and give off senses, so do whatever those transmitters and receivers are that transmit and receive the frequency of that love, that attraction or distraction or just need or desire, whatever it is that pulls. Magnets are what they are. They attract in one way and they expel in another. It is the same thing with our hearts and minds, we attract and are attracted in one way to certain things and we are distracted, expelled away from others. And it goes back to knowing yourself, which we always talk about. You don't always know what you're going to love. We look at people and we say, wow, how did that happen? Because we don't get the connection. We don't get the attraction. And the same thing in our own lives. We have things that we are attracted or like or dislike. And other people don't get the attraction. Some people like Oreos. I don't eat. I've never been a fan of Oreos. For those of you that don't know, Oreos are just Crisco with sugar in the middle of them. It's You can go get some Crisco and put some sugar in it and grind it up and slap it in between some grandma's cookies or the, the, the two sides and you got Oreos. Same thing. Um, that's a whole different conversation. That's on nutrition and cooking, etc. We'll get to that later. But the attraction is what it is. And if it is what it is, and you're going to say what you say, and you want to transmit, exude, diffuse that, then do it, be it, claim it, own it. It's yours. Whether you want it or not, it's yours. So love loudly. Don't let anything or anyone or thoughts, perceptions, question marks make you whisper or be quiet about your love and how you love. And what you love. Love loudly. 
yourself first and everything else that you love. That's it. Thoughts from the basement.